Starman Podcast. Hello and welcome to another Starman Debates. I am your host, Devin. With me is Billy and David. Woo! Greetings to everyone. And Cody's on vacation, so we won't be hearing from him for a while. Hopefully he made the bus trip. Yeah. <laughs> if not, we can grab a shovel and find him. Yeah. I was like, I'm not fall. going that far to freaking find the body. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, didn't put it after you, but... <laughs> Is it wrong that I want to picture him in the speed scenario where his bus has to go a certain speed or it explodes? <laughs> him asleep in the back, not aware of what's going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... Guys, um, this is going to be a talk to talk because we're kind of just getting out of the holidays just to date yeah. this episode a little bit. Yeah. So to get into the swing of things, I thought we'd just uh, start off with favorite movies as a kid. Well, since I'm an 80, I guess since I'm an... Oh, I, I cannot say... I cannot not say Goonies. <laughs> that oh. was a classic. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Heck, they even just recently parried that movie on the WB network. <laughs> so Who hasn't parried that yeah. movie? Yeah, that, uh, <laughs> that's been a parodable movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, um, I was like a never ending story kid. Like, yeah, uh, that's another good one. Yeah. Mm. Until you get into the sequels. <laughs> oh, God, yes. I will admit, the second one wasn't that bad. Yeah. The third one was atrocious. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, I remember, I remember seeing the third one, I'm like, eh? Uh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was pretty much my reaction, too. It was like, ugh. Ugh. <laughs> no. No. No! <laughs> Wait, what the? <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> yeah, they didn't have what's his ass in this. Uh, oh, Jack Black. Yeah. Yeah, not even... <laughs> yeah it's one of the nasties, which. Yep. <laughs> not even he could say that. Frederick. Because nope. I feel bad for kids to have to go to the theater to see that. They even had a Looney Tunes <laughs> cartoon in, in, before it. <laughs> <laughs> to soften the blow. <laughs> yep. Hey kids, we know the movie's crap, so here's Looney Tunes! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> and Billy? What are the earnest movies for me? What? The, the earnest movies, like Ernest, Ernest. Goes to Camp. Mm-hmm. Like, Go in on Ernest Goes to Hell, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, not the fall where he busted if Jason? Yeah, I was like, I, it would have been a good kind of. I'm surprised no one even did a parody of that. I, yeah. Makes buddies with Satan. Yeah. yeah. Or no, it was like, he goes to hell by accident and finds a way to get out of hell and back into yeah. heaven. <laughs> yeah. Just out burns the devil. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, those movies are so good. I still watch them even to this day. Oh, yeah, I know. They're good, like, you got to turn off your brain for them, but... Yeah. The Saw did. I just watched. (laughs) (laughs) I remember that from one of them. I forget which one. Um... In the Strides again. Yep, that's the one. The one where, like, they try to find the crown jewels. Yeah. Who here watched Secret of Nymph? I did not. No. I didn't watch that till later, and unfortunately, I watched the second one before the first one. We will not speak of the second one. <laughs> but we must, David. The movie that shall not be named. <laughs> Alright, we can speak of it, but shit, there, there we go. There's your review. <laughs> <laughs> I've saved... I saved you like so many minutes of pain. But just say yes, David. No, David just uh, does. David just threatened to hit me there. <laughs> <laughs> that 
That's that was from the second one. I'm assuming I'm assuming it was from the second one. Yeah, no, it was the, Yeah, the, the, I pretty much blocked the, that out. All I know yeah. is that Eric Idle was in it for some ungodly reason. Yeah. I just suggested the first one since you know Don Bluth when he was good. Yeah. <laughs> good old Don Bluth made a yeah. good, lot of good movies. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think either that or Dragon's Lair was the one that made his claim to fame. I think Secret and him for videos and then he proved that he can do a good video game with Dragon's Lair. Yeah. I was asking, but which one came first, I forget. I really don't know. Alright. I wanna say Secret of Nymph. Yeah, probably. I'm sure someone's out there typing, You are idiots! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, they um, came around the same time, yeah, let's yeah. just say that. Yeah. Well, it was amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> Any other anime films that everyone watched? Because I know I watched a lot. Yeah, well, I mean, well, we had a lot of like, the Disney ones. Like, Oh, yeah. Yeah, the 80s was kind of a dry well for Disney movies but until mm. until the Disney Afternoon thing kicked off yeah mm. <sighs> why didn't we have like Bambi and the, uh, yeah was, Snow White and yeah those were the 30s and 40s yeah yeah I, I meant like ones made in the 80s Fox ah. and the Hound was one of them I know that oh it was okay yeah alright Color me impressed. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, it's like I'm pretty sure Dizzy made something in the eighties. Yeah. Well, then, came in possibly the Black Cauldron too in the eighties. Oh, they don't want to remember that one. <laughs> That's like song of the Stop I mean more like Black Cauldron didn't make that much money, so No, then once What was stored in the stone made? I'm assuming the 60s or 70s. Wow, well, I am really way back in Disney, huh? Yeah. <laughs> then I just... Alright, let me rephrase that. They didn't make that many during the 70s and 80s. No, there was once the Little Merm... Once they got the rights of the Little Mermaid and that... Yeah. It hit at the box office. Yeah, yeah. then it made like another renaissance. Yeah. Then he like the nine... Yeah. Yeah, like it was the nine... Remember the renaissance. video game for Little Mermaid? Am I the only idiot who tried to play that? Yep. <laughs> hey, I'm, I played the uh, video game for Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, so like you have no ground to stand on there. No, that's what I said. I'm not. <laughs> and I think back to thinking played like that, the Lion King, and the Jungle Book had a video game, the, yeah. the animated movie. Uh, okay, that I played. Yeah. <laughs> it was frustrating. Yeah. Just like the Lion King was frustrating. I yeah. I didn't play that as a kid, thankfully, because I would have broke something. That was any Aladdin video game. <laughs> Which one, Genesis or Super Nintendo? Super Nintendo. All right. I actually kind of like that one. All right. My deal, we made the horrible fun of it. Yeah, I mean, like it was basically a quest for Rebox. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was the whole story for Aladdin in our heads? <laughs> <laughs> I need some shoes, man. <laughs> I was like, you have. A genie that grants any wish, and the first way I'd be like, "Man, I really could use some shoes." <laughs> Makes this running and jumping everywhere kind of more easier. <laughs> All right, the Disney afternoon games. I don't know what you're talking about, actually. You know, DuckTales, Rescue Rangers, yeah. Tailspin, Darkwing Duck. Goof oh, yeah. Okay. Goof Troop. Yes. <laughs> Everyone loves Goof Troop. Yeah. <laughs> yes, actually, I'm sorry. I played all of those. Yeah. <laughs> Except for Tailspin, I'm in the same boat. <laughs> I played a little bit of Tailspin, but not enough to yeah. be worried of saying I played Tailspin. No, oh, me. All right. That was a weird show, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Jungle Book characters in a more modern setting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, because I remember the 
What was the one I was talking about? They, it's like, it was like the pandas attacking. It's yeah, like, you're losing us no, already. It was like a Congress episode because they. It was like pandas are like the Vietnam kind of thing, weren't they? No, it was a, no, like the pandas are supposed to be like doing a sneak attack, like Pearl Harbor. Uh, yeah. And I get the name. Oh. Yeah, I can't remember. I just remember it was a weird episode. Yeah, let's just not bring that up. Yeah. <laughs> Save that for later. <laughs> Things that can just stay in the vault. Yeah. All right. Well, why not? They had those Vembrians, which were like, which were basically Russia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One voiced by Garfield of all things. Yeah. yeah. Weird show is a weird show. Yeah. Yep. Who would make a tiger a businessman? <laughs> what, Shere Khan was yeah. a businessman? In that yeah, show. I know. Yeah, oh, I, remember. I remember. It's like... Powered by Megabyte, of all things. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I remember the Gargoyles did have a game. Did it? I don't know if it got released, though. I know it was mentioned in some magazines. Yeah. But yeah. If it was released, it was in pretty limited quantities. Yeah, because I remember. I thought I saw ads for Disney Adventure. Right. Don't sure if you guys ever remember that magazine. Nope. I do. I, I have. We bought two, and that was it. Oh, we have a subscription. Alright. <laughs> That was cool magazine. <laughs> yeah, didn't it have like comics in it or something? Yeah, like comics and just like different stuff that like anything to do with Disney, really. Yeah. Because ah. even had like one of them things was for the the, ma- the cover was the Mask animated series. Ah, that was a good show. Oh yeah. Like the other two. Ace Ventura! <laughs> yeah. yeah, I remember those because they're back to back always. Yeah. Yeah. Dumb and dumber. Okay, that one was like, just awful. Yeah. It that one I never saw, so. Oh. You didn't miss much. No. No, I didn't feel like I was missing much, so. It didn't even make it past the first season. Ouch. I mean, they threw in a, a bee to the beaver. I'm like, what's the. <laughs> it's a cartoon pet. Yes. Every cartoon needs one. Well, I'm sure they had to do that because they could have uh, Pete the Headless Bird. Yeah. <laughs> Guess not. <laughs> Man, TV shows were weird. Yeah. yeah. Trying to think of other classic movies that I'm pretty sure every child has saw at one point or another. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Why was that in my head? But I never said it. But yet you <laughs> found a way to say it for me. <laughs> well, it's turtles. Y'all you know what each one of us is thinking. Yeah, that's scary. <laughs> Stay yeah. in my head, man. <laughs> I'll think about it. Yeah. Don't promise. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? There was like... You were warned. That's all I'll say. Yeah. <laughs> Who, me? Yeah. <laughs> Don't go beyond the too far in my head. You were warned. <laughs> I got the crowbar. <laughs> I got the C4. Like all the memories. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was crippling depression. <laughs> 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 no, what Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? The first two were good. The yeah. third one was a little off shot. Yeah, <laughs> it it was turtles. Yeah, <laughs> they used to air them all the time on TV. Oh yeah, especially when that TMNT movie came out. Uh. 
Then they kind of forgot about it after Nickelodeon came in. <laughs> yeah. Did you see what they did with the turtles now? Holy crap, did they take a few steps back. <laughs> yeah. What do you expect? They hired Michael Bay. Oh. No, I'm talking about the, the new cartoon. The oh, the new cartoon. cartoon. Oh, God, yes. Yeah, they tried to make each one as unique as possible. With by making them the same as possible. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> their voice like their personalities are the same. <laughs> and there's a thing online, you can look this up, and Santa Craig did it. <laughs> but he took all the voices of the turtles, uh, took them out of the scene, just played them, and he said, Can you guess who said what? <laughs> guess what? You couldn't guess. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Nick made two cartoons, so we're talking about the most recent one? Or... Yeah, we're talking where, like, Raphael's a big, muscular... Oh, Turtle's boob, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, like, Devin will get that one. I got it. <laughs> I didn't want to get it, but I got it. <laughs> <laughs> the sad part is, I had high hopes for Sonic Boom. I really did. Uh... I watched the first season. I was like, "It's all right." Yeah, it's gonna, it started nose diving on me. It's gonna get better. It's gone. No, oh, no, I I threw that concept yeah. at the window as soon as I started. I was like, it's not gonna get better, but maybe yeah. I'll stay the same. <laughs> That's like the pilot's like, "Ah, oh, we're cruising." I'm like, "Hey, a mountain." <laughs> Well, the humor wasn't bad, I guess. No, the humor, it made fun of itself, which I can appreciate if you understand that your source of material is not great. No, no, why are you drawing my arms? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sonic, in Sonic Boom, they made his arms blue, and they're supposed to be, like, what, white or something? Yeah, they're supposed to be skin colored. Yeah. So, for his redesign, they drew them blue, and a lot of people didn't like that. Yeah. So, in the show... They had Sonic dream that, and he's like, Why are you drawing my arms? Uh, okay. Yeah. They have their arms and stuff like that. That's I'm cool. sorry, my favorite, before I stopped watching, was the um, introduction to Shadow. <laughs> it's like, who's that? It's Shadow. Oh, he's the second popular character in the fandom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give, give props on that. Like, I give them props on, like, acknowledging, like, hey, yeah, what we're making is stupid, <laughs> but we're being stu fun about it. Yeah. <laughs> no, so other shows that we watched as kids. Because I'll be honest, I never actually really watched Turtles. There. Uh, the 80s one? Yeah, no, I did not get into that. Uh, you didn't miss much, uh, trust I, me. No. I, I, was in, I had tons of the toys, which is a sad fact. Yeah, yeah I was I was into it. I, like, mm. <laughs> I had maybe a VHS tape of it for the first two yeah. episodes of it. Yeah, after the pilot episodes, it got very stupid. Yeah. Like, let's see, there was... Well, it was only meant to sell toys, so... Yeah. Yeah, but... Let me let me break down an episode for you. All right, drop it down. There was an episode where Leonardo got, like, a head injury or something. They thought he was D'Artagnan from the Three Musketeers. So Splinter suggested the, the rest of them to act like the Three Musketeers. So they told Leonardo got his memory back. And this was the launch for the Musketeer toys for the Ninja Turtles. Was there one? Yes. I ah. had a Leonardo that was dressed as one of the Musketeers. Well, that was... <laughs> <laughs> that was like, well, that explains a whole lot. <laughs> that explained too much. <laughs> but yeah, it got dumb. Oh, I imagine, like... <laughs> That was like a show for definitely for kids with ADD or something. Yeah. 
Granted, they they took a step up near the end, but it was too late for that. <laughs> yeah, it was, a, it was they, they were they were big. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, no, it was big. I won't deny how big no. Ninja Turtles was. It was just wasn't one of those shows I watched. No, I mean, no, I remember, remember, you know, when they first came out, kids getting in and going the sewers to find them. Yep. Oh yeah, that was that was a fun. <laughs> Yeah. Hey kids, stop doing this. Yeah, <laughs> they're like, you know what? We just we need to get the idiot. So, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then the Power Rangers came along and it just happened all over again. Yep, kids were killing themselves because they're trying to be Power Rangers. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, can you blame the show on that one, or do you blame the kids or the parents? I aim my finger at the parents on most parts. Yeah. Well, there's only so much you can do with a stupid kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to be harsh, but... <laughs> okay, I'm going to have some bit of children here. They might get it. Right. It's like, well, I'm like, well, we have, because we had parents. So I'm like, dude, I'm don't do what you see on TV or else it's far across the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, it's the parents who... Don't tell them, like, hey, this is a TV show. Do not. Yeah. If you see that your child has a hard time distinguishing from reality and fantasy, you might want to monitor what they're watching. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I watch a lot of, like, Looney Tunes on that, but I knew if I dropped an anvil on someone's head, it wasn't going to just pancake and then they'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, what? <laughs> oh, Didn't stop me from trying a few times. But. Yeah. But, uh, but I would have subjected to the horse of a Three Stooges ward. <laughs> God, Curly. No, not Curly. Uh, who was the, which one was the bald one again? That's Larry? Curly. Yeah, that's oh, Curly. Curly. Sorry. I mean, yeah, Curly getting himself electrocuted in a fucking uh, light bulb socket. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> I really hope the parents were on board when the kids saw this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this was big when I was younger. Uh, the Real Ghostbusters. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that is actually a show I kind of watched a lot of. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> it went on for a while, too. Yes, yeah. yes it did. A lot of people don't know that, but holy crap. What was the spinoff with Slimers? Like, real Ghostbusters with Slimer or something. Oh, that wasn't a spinoff. They retooled the show, and that almost killed it. Yeah. And then they had to retool it back mm -hmm. to fix it. <laughs> no, strike that. Reverse it. Stop. No one wants the green snot bubble. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's not that he was there. It was just that he took over. Like, that was the problem. Yeah. <laughs> Too much of one thing. Yeah, he was supposed to just be like a sidekick character. Yeah. Yeah. Not the main focus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it wouldn't have been so bad if he actually had like a speaking role. Mm. Or the... <laughs> 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 They, when they made the main character, they kind of did give him that. Oh, God. <laughs> but, yeah, it was pretty much through that. Oh, God. No. So, <laughs> oh, raining well, on your ears as he talks. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Well, was just in that, was it the Gremlin from Gremlins 2? Yeah. Makes it like this take to the accent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, one episode gave him a computer to talk with. That didn't last. <laughs> Like a monotone voice to speak with. <laughs> there was no save on that character. I'm sorry. No. no. <laughs> and 
We all know I watch Beetlejuice, but oh yeah. yeah. Do you regret that now? Not really. <laughs> For what it was. Yeah. Like, yes, if you watch the movie and you watch Beetlejuice, the cartoon show, there's a vast yeah, difference yes. between the two. The movie, Beetlejuice is the bad guy. In the show, Beetlejuice is just an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Devin's childhood hero. Yeah. <laughs> Not wrong. <laughs> I can say something very nasty, but I'm not going to. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know, when you say a statement like that, you're, the next coasting thing is you gotta say it, man. Yeah. You don't want to redo hey, that. Hey, 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 you went out to the door, doorbell, you gotta have to ring it. <laughs> All right, fine. A ghost hangs out with a little girl. There, I said it. <laughs> eh, it's been said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure everyone's made, made that, that comment. comment. All right. In the movie, he tried to marry her. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was weird. <laughs> I don't even understood. I never understood why that was a fame. <laughs> so, so if you marry a living person, you come to life or something? What? Yeah, I think that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> Freakazoid, anyone? Oh, that was the good one. <laughs> <laughs> from, from like, yeah, between Tie Tunes, Animaniacs, and Freakazoid, I picked Freakazoid out of all three of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Then the other two, I was like, it's a toss up? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't see the popularity of Animaniacs to a point, but. <laughs> I'm freaking sort of Candlejack. Well, bye, David. Mm. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it looks like Animaniacs most of the Bible is trying to be doing one, so. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it has a vast popularity. I, with David, I didn't see. Much, but when I went back and watched it again, I was like, there are some clever moments yeah. in it. Yeah, some. <laughs> Sorry, I'm harsh. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. I don't know. Even Time Team had its moments, but again, had its moments. Yeah. Oh, you're not going to see that again. Yeah. All the original writers hated that show because because the Looney Tune writers were criticizing the hell out of it when it was new, yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Well, something like that. All I know is that you're not going to see it again, <laughs> at least no. not with the original writers. No. Which is fair. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it. Ah, well, sorry. <laughs> no, it was the 90s, and that's what I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Sam and Max. Wait. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, oh. <laughs> Sam and Max wasn't bad. I love Sam and Max. Yeah. If you asked me, like, favorite weird show that you watched, I was like, Sam and Max all the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. It was too intelligent for its own good, actually. <laughs> yeah. That's a weird statement for a Sam and Max comment, but yeah. I'm standing by. It was too intelligent for its own good. Oh, yeah. Isn't that the same problem with Freakazoid? Yeah. It was like a little too... A lot of the jokes only adults could really get. Yeah. yeah. It had the high rush, like, hyperness for a kid, and then the um, high brow humor for an adult. Yeah. Oh. So, it was like Wheaties. Yeah. Or sugar, whatever the cereal Mini is. Mini Wheats, yeah. thank you. <laughs> uh, I have a lot of been watching. Like, uh, I know Dave watched the show. I know you didn't watch much of it, but King of the Hill has been on again. Like reruns. All right. Been watching that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was a yeah. good show. Luan. 
Bobby has ADD. He didn't get hit in the head with a coconut. He's <laughs> like, hey, you must be very proud, sir. I am. I can't fit you in. <laughs> that shows like a full flash of like moments in Hank's life and he just tells random people. He's like, I can't fit you in. Well, that one show was a little too dry for my sense of humor at the yeah. time, but I imagine if I went back, I'd be like, alright, I get Oh, it. yeah, like some of the moments, like, uh, they have some of their firefighters. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where, like, with they're all trying to tell the versions of the story of what happened, he gets a boom hammer, <laughs> and he talks normal. Oh, and <laughs> everyone else talks like boom hammer. Yeah. It's like, oh, for God's sakes, Hank. <laughs> Lock it off and keep it down, guys. <laughs> I still gotta kick out Dale's because he's chasm with the long hair yeah. and he makes Hank the drill sergeant. Yeah. Which, fun fact, like I got laugh when they actually found out what Boomhouse's job is. Oh, yeah, the text. Oh, well, stop. Yeah. yeah. Spoiler. Yeah. For an old show. But, yeah. Guys. But, like that, they kept that as a sequel until the end. Yeah. Though it does make sense now when you think about it. <laughs> okay, the critic. Wow, that is an old yeah show. You're referring I'm... to the cartoon, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. Not much of a fan of that. <laughs> no, I, I've been, I've been watching a few episodes. I know. I watched. I only remember a few. Jokes from that. Yeah. The one that always sticks in my head because it just like pounded in your head is the buy my book. <laughs> oh, the critic. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant the crypt. But yeah, the critic. That was an. Yeah. <laughs> all hail Duke. Yeah. Duke is life. <laughs> all. Oh. <laughs> Bitches seem to like the sound of my voice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it had its moments too. Oh, yeah. And. Yeah. Um, then, like I said, like just showed up with the Simpsons. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they tried to revive it online, of all things, one time. Oh. Back yeah, in like 2001, they tried to revive it. Okay. That didn't last. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, it stinks, it stinks, it stinks. That's Mr. Sherman. Everything stinks. <laughs> well, it, Anytime you want to visit me. You know? <laughs> we, we won't be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad that Craig is mostly remembered from that crossover episode. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunate, but... Yeah, yeah but it's memorable. <laughs> Alright, we all must have watched the Dilbert cartoon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wow. You particularly. Huh? Oh yeah, no. I was, yeah. was Dogbert for yeah. all intents oh, yeah. and purposes. Yeah. Um, uh, when they got like the automated shower system. Yeah. Like, eh. And the trying to check like how like you can turn up the temperature. It's like, oh yeah, what was the name of that same yeah. movie? Something something, stuff? something a space <laughs> odyssey. Two thousand one. <laughs> On the plus side, you look very clean. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which episode it was, but the one where they give that high-tech machine to the rednecks was hilarious. <laughs> that don't look right! <laughs> it makes that black hole or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, man, it, was, it was a good show, but it only lasts, what, two seasons? Yeah. One season. I thought it was two. I'm pretty sure it's just one. I know the box said it's just one season. Well, the box set's the complete series, so it's... Yeah, but I think that's just one season. Maybe they broke it into two or something. Okay. Maybe. I won't fact-check this, so I'm not trying to be an ass, but... I'm just curious. No, fact check ruined the podcast. <laughs> oh, you might be right, and I'm... Yeah. But I was pretty sure it was just the one season. Yeah. Don't be a Wally. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta hey. think like Wally. <laughs> No, like, young Wally. <laughs> no, I know, I mean, when they said, like, oh, we use you as a statement now, Wally. Yeah, yeah like, he's a total Wally. <laughs> Pull the Wally. <laughs> okay, let's begin with the character assassinations. It's like, it's like, so, 
It's like, yeah, sometimes do. Pick up a shook of it and just shake the bejesus <laughs> out of them. <laughs> okay, do have the PJs? Nope. <laughs> Moving I actually, on. <laughs> I actually remember this. Yeah. It was a claymation adult cartoon. Yeah, unboxed. Yeah. Sorry, Eddie Murphy. I know what it was. I just wanted to keep it as a secret. <laughs> <laughs> well, t- well, bad news for you, my friend. Yeah, oh boy. <laughs> uh, it was alright. Yeah. You guys keep talking. I'm just, don't mind the rope that I'm putting around <laughs> yeah. my neck. Hey, Let's hey, talk about some more. Let's see how far that rope goes. Hey, the PJs. Hey, the projects. projects. <laughs> Live it with the PJs. <laughs> Are you dead yet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just be s- 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 swaying gently from the raft. <laughs> you know, Dev, he's just tagging around. <laughs> just taking it easy up on the rafters. Hanging in there. Hanging in there. Well, I guess we got we own the podcast now, Billy. All right. <laughs> yeah, you guys wish. <laughs> <laughs> Go back into your hole, you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> I will never die. <laughs> okay, another movie I'll probably watch from back in the 90s, Ace Ventura. Of course. Yeah. Oh yeah, that... It made Jim Carrey's career. Yeah. <laughs> was... But mind you, I know the second one better than the first one. Okay. Oh, they're both good. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I love that scene where he gets the spears and yeah. the legs. <laughs> All right, I had just been this enough of this right devil thing, but nobody messes <laughs> with the two. <laughs> oh, and let me guess, he must be the Monopoly <laughs> guy. Yeah. Hey, right. we could yeah, quote that all night, <laughs> but. We're going to get pulled if we do. (laughs) So do not pass go. Do not collect $200. God damn it, damn it. (laughs) (laughs) That was going to be me and Dave was going to see that quote. (laughs) Good night, everyone. (laughs) That's it. Why do I have you guys on the show again? Because <laughs> I'm dying to be some Cody. Yeah. Do the podcast. So true. <laughs> okay. So, who framed Roger Rabbit in those kind of show movies whereas mix of cartoon and r- live action um I mean yeah I know Roger Rabbit there's something from the other ones that were used I think I know which one Devin might be referring to Bed Knobs and Broomsticks yep yeah yeah that was a good and one. Cool World oh yeah with uh Brad Pitt yeah yeah yeesh <laughs> yeah that did not do well no no it didn't and- would Page Master? Page Master? Page Master? No! I can't say because I never really watched the yeah, show. Um, but it didn't have the live action characters interacting with cartoon characters. Yeah. Did oh, it? okay. So, yeah. I think it it's... switched into cartoon, which okay, is a yeah. different format. Yeah. Monkey Bone. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I tried watching that movie. Yeah. Watched like yeah. the first opening. Okay, okay, he's one I know came out like when they did the Rocky and Bullwinkle movie when they when came out. Oh, yeah, George Costanza as Boris. <laughs> yeah. That was a weird one. I, I didn't mind it. Like, it was a product of the times, I'll yeah. say. Yeah. That. That, you know the small cameo from uh, Squeak from Basketball. Yeah. 
Squeak. It was actually Squeak? No, um... No, the actor. Yeah, when the actor that plays Squeak makes a small appearance in it. Alright. Yeah, I'm talking about other movies that were like that. Oh, uh, they're more popular now? But back in the day, it was a rare Yeah, it was a rare one. Because it's difficult to do that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you, I mean, it used to be. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, you get those really old Tom and Jerry ones with Jerry dancing with the sailor guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no, back, way back in, like, the 30s or something, they would... Do, they would try to do that live action with animation stuff and one one scene I remember is this a cartoon Jerry dancing around with a sailor man yeah and I think they, was, uh, they parodied that on Family Guy one time yeah I think there was another cousin in the 30s it was like it was a Betty Boop thing but it was uh, Cap Calloway singing was there I think ah uh, yeah M- yeah Minnie the Butcher interesting okay yeah. I just know, like, I don't have seen the video, I just know the song from the Blues Brothers. Alright. Of course you would. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, it's a good movie, Devin. Never seen it. <laughs> well, we got something to show Devin then. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> Why do I say things? <laughs> hey, we can be dicks if we can watch both of them. Yeah. Alright, not the second one. I still enjoyed the second one. I know. You <laughs> would. <laughs> Well, Devin, I guess you're up Shit Creek without a paddle. Who <laughs> 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 says, what's this on my own crap? Uh, um, <laughs> if I'm watching, you're joining uh, us. But I like Dave got the. No, I said you're up Shit Creek without uh, a paddle. <laughs> it's a line from the movie. Yeah. It's... Oh. See, this is why I didn't get it. Yeah, well, no, what's was it Dave made the reference? Like, Clever. <laughs> yeah. Not clever enough, apparently. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but for you? Hey, wait, you, wait. Soup! <laughs> now, we had a ruler. <laughs> <laughs> now, just briefly sum up the scene. They uh, kept saying that to a nun. She keeps hitting him with a ruler. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Guys, we're going to have to call it because we're going to run out of time. <laughs> All right. So, thank you all for listening. This has been a Starman's Debate, uh, Talk to Talk. Uh, I'm your host, Devin. Billy, dig it. Devin, see you later. Have a good one, guys.